Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Lightning UI pages. This video is great for anyone who is um, getting started with Lightning or you, your org is in classic and if you are thinking of migrating to Lightning or you just want to learn about what are the different options to display the fields, slice and dice data for your end users uh, more effectively um, using Lightning pages and how you can remove a lot of clutter and creation of unnecessary Lightning, uh, unnecessary page layouts, record types uh, that we are used to do in Classic. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, I want, I have an object, I have a custom object in my R called Facility and we're gonna just uh, take it from there, uh, look at the different types you can show the fields on the pages. So, um, the number one way we know of uh, is page layouts. So anytime we have fields we create, we have the page layout and we add all the fields inside the page layout. And uh, another thing is also you can add the lightning actions or buttons if you're in classic uh, in the page layout as well. So that's our classic way of doing things. And now if, if somebody wants to maybe show this information differently for a different profile. For example, they both have access to same fields, uh, but they want to show the specialty address phone and fax on the right side, or maybe a different section, whatever the reason might be, or maybe they want to show a different button for the different profile. Um, the only way to do that in Classic was to create a record type. So record types is basically a way to differentiate different pages uh, because that was the only way to assign different pages to different people uh, using record type. So if I had a record type in my org I would see a record type here and based on the record type you can assign the profiles and you can assign the page layouts to different profiles. So that was the one of the reason to use record types. Another reason is obviously uh, for the pick list so you can control the pick list values that appear on your fields based on record types. Okay, and I can make a separate, that's a separate topic, but basically um, in Lightning, in Classic, the way we define the page layouts is more end user focused. Even if they have access to same fields, you can slice and dice data by using different page layouts. So every time you a user comes in with some new request, a new button, um, we used to create a page layout for that profile or for that record type. Okay, so now uh, introducing lightning record pages. Um, I Basically anytime you create a custom object, Salesforce creates a standard record page for that object. So if I have to show you how that looks like. So anytime you create a custom object, I didn't do any changes, I didn't make any changes by default. Um, you will see there's a details and there's a related button, uh, related tab and this is the lightning page and it by default brings in all the fields that you had on the page layout depending upon which profile you are logged in. So if you're logged in as a system admin you'll see the the page layout that is assigned to the system admin. So that's the default way. Um, now if I create a new page for me, um, if I create a new record page then I can create it from here either clicking this new button so ju I just want to show you how it looks and there are different options um, so when you click on new it will take you to a cre create a new lightning page and you are selecting the record page because that's what we're going to do we're creating a record page um, and you give your label you give your object um, just to show here I want to type facility here and be very mindful of what you name your um, lightning page because it gets very messy if you have tons of lightning pages for the same object. So establish a naming convention for your org. So maybe you might want to say facility um, for this app, for this profile or whatever it might be. For now I'm just going to keep it simple, make it facility record page, hit next. And this is where you have tons of options. So you have, um, you can either choose the default page which is what I just showed you or you can cho choose different page templates. There are different options so there is one where you have the header and then you have two and three so this is how it looks like and this is how it looks like in mobile. So you have tons of different options 
uh, it's really about playing around with what works best for your org. Um, a lot of times I also see this one being used a lot. Usually you have the header information with the compact layout, basic fields, and then in the two you put all the details from the page layout, the fields, for example, and on the three you'll put all the related list. So this is a really, really common design. Um, I'll just choose that, hit finish, and then I'm brought into this canvas. So this is starting from brand new scratch. So you can, um, if you choose to do so, you can go to the standard page and just click this gear icon and hit edit page and it will again bring you to that same canvas if you want to not start from scratch. So this is available for you. So I'm just going to start from here. Um, and the good part is you can also change the template right from here. So I can say changes to header and um, we're just going to choose header and subheader and right side header. Doesn't really matter uh, for this example. And then it will ask you what do you want to change to what. So this is this looks fine to me. I'll just stick to that and hit done. And now it will change my page layout right on here as well. So lots of options for sure. Um, and then you are brought into this view. And maybe I, I feel like I don't want the related option here. I'll just remove it from there and put it on the right side. So I can drag and drop just like that. And if I click on this bigger box, I can also remove that related tab altogether. So related tab is gone and I only have details. I can also rename that by clicking on custom. And I can say, I just wanna call it detail fields, for example. So you can do that. And that just changes your, but we are more interested in the fields right now. So how, uh, so, Initially, this is how it was until the last release. We had the fields here, and anytime you want to change what's appearing in this field, um, you would have to go to the page layout assignment, uh, go to the actual page layouts and change it there. But now we have this button upgrade now. And for now, uh, this print at the time of re recording this video is only available for custom object, but uh, definitely it's on roadmap for the standard object as well. Um, so it will tell you, okay, these are the options you're gonna get. If you enable upgrade that so you can put fields and sections anywhere on the page you can create sections arrange fields directly in this canvas without having to go to page layout at all and then you can also show hide all right so hit next and so one caveat one thing to note is that you still need to have at least one page layout and any fields so for example um, think about it, you can have a system page layout which is like a dumping ground for all the fields for that object. So it could be 100, 200, whatever fields you have, you dump it in that main page layout that you are then going to be using for these record pages. So, and there is also a slight information that it will only pick the first 100 fields in each column. So just read that out, but basically you still need one page layout to grab that fields from. So hit finish. I do have one page layout so that works out well and now we are brought into some it looks a bit different than what we saw before upgrading so now as you can see we have this carrots um, section for each section so I have the fields and then I have I've got the additional fields so that is com that is in line with what I had if I go back to my object manager Yes, I want to leave. Uh, whatever sections you have on your page layout, those are the sections that will appear on the Lightning Dynamic Forms. So if I click on the page layout, I have these sections, system information. So these are different sections on the page layout itself. And then I got additional fields under that section, system information. Okay, so now, what's the advantage of this? So, for example, um, you want the additional fields section to be only be visible for, um, let's say, system admins. So, you can do that right here. You can say add filter. So, you don't need to create a separate page layout for them. You could hide it, the fields in the, in the field level security 
uh, but sometimes they still have access to the same fields but they want to show different things um, you'll get that requirements a lot um, so what you can just do here is you can filter by either record field so you can say maybe record type is something else you want to show some other fields uh, depending on what kind of record it is you want to show different fields so you can also pick record fields so this will show me all the fields from that exact uh, object record that you're in so for example you want to show um, based on address so maybe the city is California show me something some other fields if city is Philadelphia show me something else so it really depends on what your requirement is but you can see how flexible you can be um, which you will never be able to do in page layouts directly in classic uh, because you, you need to create page layouts for every time you want to show different information based on uh, record criteria in that scenario in this example of city you would have to create two record types and then assign two records types to two page layouts to show different information based on that but not here you can literally filter on any field on that record you can also filter filter based on device so that this is where mobile versus desktop so maybe you want to show lesser fields in mobile but more fields in desktop so you can do that as well but if you want to control it through profile or other things you can say advanced and you can come here select and here you can say maybe the locked in user profile equals system admin or something so I'm gonna say name done equals system admin and make it equal um, just to show you I'm gonna say not equal so that it, it hides for me and you hit done so here you will see this little eye icon and if you're trying to debug why some users can't see some fields you might want to come to this lightning page uh, builder and then see the eye section so I really denotes if there is a filter criteria or not another use case is let's say you want to display this field separately so um, you want to make changes right here you can do that you can make it this way or you can also click on this bigger bot box and keep take a notice of the right side it changes based on what you're selecting so you can also say two columns one column you can change the label here maybe I want to say main info or whatever so it, it will change that here um, and you can also add sections right here so hit plus and then it adds an insert component so you can add components within the page itself so lots of um, enhance uh, lots of different ways to show data uh, I recommend not to go crazy with with the different filters uh, because it does add a certain speed so if you have tons of filters let's say over 50 filters on the same page you might face some speed issue but it's really good to have that um, option at least to be able to do that okay um, so as you can see we, we are able to control this a lot better so you can only have one page layout and then you can do everything you want um, from the end user requirement perspective right here on the app builder uh, another thing also is you can control the buttons as well so if you say upgrade now to dynamic actions it's gonna say migrate start with actions from an existing layout it will you are able to and again this also requires one page layout so whatever actions are available in that page layout will bring it over and then you can also control based on what you want to show to your end user same as the fields requirement you can also control the actions so if I click on this I just want to remove all these other things I can remove it from right here I don't need to go to um, page layout to just change the actions which was a it really does save a lot of time to just come in here and control everything you need so just removing everything that I don't need you can select this let's say clone I only want the admins to be able to clone so you can just select that and hit add filter and the same requirement same kind of uh, screen so again um, you don't need different page layouts just to show different actions you can just come in here and 
control your action visibility as well. So the filter is really powerful uh, to be able to do all that. You can, uh, there are other options, so collapsed, or like this. So definitely play out, uh, definitely play around with this uh, feature and it will soon be available with standard pages as well and it should be available in all the dev environments if you are not yet in lightning and one more thing i want to show you is the assignment so if i save this and activation when i try to activate it it will bring me to a screen where it's going to ask me what are the type ways i can assign this so that's that's another powerful feature is like let's say if you have sales app you have different apps in the lightning um, sales service other different app, internal apps that you're using you can control the lightning page visibility or lightning page layout and design based on the app you are in so you, you can either say or default if you don't have a lot of different uh, persona you can assign as app default so Maybe for Dreamhouse app, I want to have a different page, so I'm going to make that as default. For sales app, I might need a different lightning page. So that's also possible here. And then you can also control it based on your regular app record type and profile. So you can assign it to apps. So I'm just going to say sales and Dreamhouse. Hit next. And I'll just pick that by default. Hit next. And then I don't have record types, but if I did, I could choose that based on record type as well. So I'm just going to hit next and profiles. I'm just going to select for system admin. Um, if your org is simple, then you can just continue with assigning as org default so that everybody sees the same thing minus the filters that you use on the page. So you can have one single page. You can still control the visibility by using that filters. Um, and then if I go back to my app, so I'm just going to save it and hit back because I should already be on the app. And coming back to facilities here, so all the changes are appearing. That's great because I'm on the sales app. If I change the app, I will see something else. Um, about the filters as well, um, definitely the first priority should be controlling the fields from field uh, from the profile level security. So if somebody doesn't have access to the field, they shouldn't see it at all. Uh, so that should be the first way to do it, uh, not using the filters to control the FLS because that's really just hiding it on the layout and not hiding it from the user. So now I'm in the service app here and I still see my old layout because I specifically assigned it to that specific um, apps. So, and the way you will debug that is coming to the object manager for that object. And if you go to lightning record pages and view page assignments. So now I have a new record page. Even if you edit the standard page, it does create a new record page in the back end. So always be uh, conscious of the names that you're using. And here you can see, I want to say Dreamhouse System Admin. So if you just want to looking for, okay, what, what can the system administrator see on the Dreamhouse app? So you can just say find page and it will tell you what they can see. Or you can just come directly here and it will show you all the different types of assignments. I don't have any app default or org default. My org default is the default page that it comes with. Okay, so I hope that clarified on how to debug it. This is also um, very important to know, especially if you have a lot of pages. Sometimes it might get a little confusing to debug on what user is seeing. So this is a good place to come up and just see what the assignment is. And then you can go to the page, figure out what you're debugging on. All right. Um, okay, so I think we have covered everything uh, for the Lightning pages uh, from the record page perspective. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments that you can, I can help with. Thank you so much. For